Hey guys, this is Ghost57 coming at you from the power of YouTube through the internet itself. Okay guys, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Rocket RGB USB-C 20 gigabytes per second M.2 enclosure. I'm going to show you how useful this can be in a little bit. Stay tuned guys and I'll show you how to use it. And here it is in all its RGB glory. Even the box has RGB, which is pretty gamerescent, I would have to say. Um, but this thing has a very good capability of transferring speeds to your laptop via USB 3.2 Gen 2 times 2. So this is actually a really good fast USB um, external device, a lot faster than a normal USB. And the cool thing is you can put one of these in there. So this is actually out of my laptop. I updated the storage. And this is only a one terabyte Gen 4 M.2 NVMe SSD. Um, speeds up to 4,500 megabits per second, or uh, megabytes per second, I should say. So 4.5 gigabits per second. So this is actually faster than this right here. But via USB, that's actually extremely fast. Most of the time you're getting about 80 megabits per second or uh, three megabytes per second. So this makes a big difference when going from a normal USB, um, even like a, a 2.0 or 3.0. This is gonna be extremely fast, especially since this is this line around. Might as well pop it in this enclosure right here. So let's go to take a look at the Rocket RGB USB-C 20 gigabits per second USB 3.2 Gen 2 times 2 and this will be for an M.2 SATA or NVMe SSD enclosure so you can get the cheaper SATA 1.2 um, it's not gonna be as fast but since this only goes up to 20 gigabits per second that should be okay uh, we're gonna go ahead and flip this over to the back right here and read through some things so as you see right here, I did go over the key features about how fast it is. Um, and here's the best part right here. So it does support M.2 2030, 2042, 2060, and the standard 2080 form factor. So you can fit all from the very tiny to the normal gum size um, M.2 SSD in here. And it has a high quality aluminum body with thermal padding for optimal heat dissipation and reliable operations. These do get pretty hot, so this will help that it does have the aluminum body so it, it can actually dissipate that heat through its own enclosure there. And the cool part is, guess what? You don't need any subscriptions, you don't need anything fancy, no um, updates, drivers, nothing like that. It's a plug and play, no additional drivers required. So as soon as you put this guy in there, you're ready to plug it in, store some data to it, and you're good to go. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up. What comes in the content's gonna be the Rocket RGB USB uh, enclosure for your M.2. You do get a 50 centimeter uh, USB Type-C cable, so it's Type-C to Type-C. And then uh, it looks like we do get an M.2 SSD rubber fastener. Ooh, it comes with a screwdriver, and of course your user manual. So let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open and let's see how nice this is. Um, this was roughly, I believe, $50 for it. It's kind of costly, especially since you have to have your own M.2 drive. But I think in the future, this price will probably go down on like prom day or closer to Christmas. And it does save you a lot of time if you're constantly moving files over. And if let's say if you don't have a NAS or a server, um, this is excellent to move files over like video files, um, even if you wanna move some other files over like Steam files from your Steam Deck over to your computer, vice versa, store your video games. So let's, uh, I guess it's not opening that way, that makes more sense, but packaging is pretty nice here. So we get a couple nice things in here. It looks like it says spread the love. Nice, okay, so leave a review right there. So nice right there. Um, but I like how they package all this in the styrofoam rubber uh, plastic thing. It keeps it nice and neat. And there's our user manual. So it looks like there's 
two different colors. Looks like a black and a purplish. So depending on which one you like, you're good to go. And these RGB lights actually do indicate different things when it's plugged in, which we'll go over in detail shortly. But you can see how nice this is and why it's 50 bucks. Very uh, nice enclosure here, uh, not something from Timu. So this makes a difference. Um, you can see how easy it is to put in. Nothing too crazy, comes with some screws and a screwdriver. So you don't even have to buy a screwdriver. So pretty nice manual here, it gives you everything you need to actually set this up. So let's go ahead and take a look at our USB type C right over here. This is a two centimeter cable. So it's not extremely long, but um, if you're gonna be using this per se as a USB storage, I mean, this is probably gonna be right next to your laptop or gaming computer anyways. So this is still better than a USB stick drive where it's right on top of it. At least you do get a little bit of length there. So it's not too bad. Uh, keep it out of the way, hide it behind your computer, etc. And here is that fancy dandy screwdriver. And it looks like this will be what's gonna be holding your M.2 in place. It's this little rubber grommet. That's nice, so you don't have to screw it in. Um, maybe it helps with vibrations if you're moving it or your desk moving. Um, these are not like the old school hard drives where it's mechanical. This is all ships, so you don't really have to worry about too much about vibrations, of course. But still, when you're moving it, throwing it in your backpack, it's nice to have that extra security of cushion right there with a rubber grommet. So, nice. Nice, it comes with a screwdriver, that's always nice. And I'm just popping it out now. Moment of truth, is it beautiful? Is it not? And this is actually pretty hefty, it has some weight to it. Um, this does not feel cheap at all. Nice. Um, definitely something cool to take with you if you're in the college dorms or something like that, um, and you're moving data over. This is a cool party trick because how fast it's going to be moving files over, um, especially if you work with like animation or something like that, um, or video editing. This is going to be a really good tool for you to use to transfer stuff over. So with that done, let's go ahead and pop in our M.2 drive. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and not use iFixit Kit today since this thing comes with its own fancy screwdriver. I'm just going to use this one. I'm pretty sure it's not magnetic, but we'll go ahead and use it since it comes with it. And since you paid for it, pretty much, might as well. So we're going to flip this over. We're going to undo these four screws. Nothing too major. Pretty easy to do. Actually, I might have to pull out my iFixit Kit. This is kind of really in there. So never mind, I'm going to get that iFixit kit because this tiny screwdriver doesn't have enough leverage uh, to get that out. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the trusty iFixit kit. Okay, back with a bigger screwdriver. And the iFixit kit makes it look so easy. Um, you might have some struggles with this, so I recommend getting an iFixit kit or just a normal screwdriver. And again, these have magnetic tips to your screws so you can connect to stuff very easily and not lose screws so the little driver bits are magnetic can't go wrong with the iFixit kit now these are coming off pretty easy so we're going to take these four off right here look how easy that comes out with that iFixit screwdriver nothing like a quality screwdriver right there okay and now we'll flip it this way and as you see there is your thermal paste um, always remember with your thermal pads that you have to remove this little plastic because if not it's not going to dissipate anything <laughs> probably hurt your m.2 drive so uh, m.2 drives get hot and this is a nice aluminum heat sink pretty much on the back of this enclosure to move that heat all the way across this surface area so this should help dissipate any type of heat there. Um, so you should be good on that part. And then this is pretty neat right here. You can see for all the very different sizes that you're good to go. And this is gonna be pretty easy to plug in place. So we're gonna grab our M.2 drive now and we'll go ahead and put that in. 
And here is the Western Digital drive we'll be using. This actually came out of my Asus Zephyrus G16. Um, this is the one terabyte one that comes with the lower models. And this one has speeds up to 1,150 megabytes per second. So it's very fast. So when we're looking at this right here, we're actually only able to transfer up to 2,500 megabits per second. So this one will do just fine. So when you're looking at shopping for, if you don't already have an M.2 drive, just make sure that you have speeds up to 25 megabytes per second, um, because this is pretty much as fast as this drive enclosure can take you. So you don't really need like a 7,000 uh, megabytes per second drive. Um, so you can go ahead and get a cheaper one if you want to and get more storage, uh, maybe like a first gen M.E, uh, MVME SSD will be fine for this. So again, you're only gonna get speeds up to 2,000 500 megabits per second so keep that in mind this can be a little misleading sometimes you might use a, need to use a conversion chart to go ahead and get that into megabytes per second but yeah that's what we're going to be looking at with speeds which is still extremely fast and we'll do some speed checks in a little bit so now that we got that out of the way so if you notice right here this one's going to be embedded to make it easier for people with the standard uh, 2080 uh, length of uh, the stick here. Uh, these smaller ones, you'll need the rubber grommet, and that's actually what that's for. So you actually don't need any tools at all besides a screwdriver. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in. Just gonna slide it in here like so. You'll hear a little clip. Push this down, move this all the way to 90 degrees. That's good there. And it should fit in pretty easy. So you see right there we need this to be exactly 90 so that little hole and that little half circle is in the right position so that should be fine there and just like that it's in place and we'll just kind of fasten it down here take it all the way back to where it was let's make sure that's in place again and let's see if we move it with our finger there there we go it actually got stuck right back there so it's not completely 90 degrees and then just bring it down to have it flush right there you can actually see that this little plastic thing holds it in place and primarily that's all you need to do and again don't forget to remove that plastic shroud and this will just go over here like so right over the m.2 drive and now we'll just screw it in place So we're gonna be moving some big files over to see if we can actually get that quoted speed of 20, 20 gigabits per second there. And there we go guys, so let's go ahead and plug it into our laptop and see how fast this bad boy actually is. So one of the most important parts is to make sure your laptop or desktop is actually compatible with the USB 3.2 Gen 2x2. This is going to give you that 20 gigabytes per second speed right here. So this one is actually uh, capable of that. So we'll just go ahead and plug in one end of our USB Type-C into the laptop, of course, and we'll plug the other one in to our enclosure. So nothing too fancy about that. And as soon as you do that, you should start seeing your RGB turn on. And there it is. So this one has different colors to let you know what's going on. This is letting you know it's actually making connection to the computer. And now it's like in a standby mode. Um, so everything's good to go there. I'm gonna go ahead and actually format that old drive. Um, because it came out of that laptop. This probably won't be a step you need to do, but I'll show you how to do it anyways. 
So we're gonna go ahead and go to this PC and right here it does have a bit locker on, I guess because it was um, the main C drive, but that shouldn't be an issue with formatting. So we're gonna go to format. We're gonna go ahead and just do a quick format and it's gonna erase everything on here, including that bit lock. And there we go, all the files are off. Again, I'm not gonna need it again. And you can actually see right here that it's making some fancy dandy little RGB signatures there and now it's done. So primarily that's going to be letting you know that the Sabrinth RGB uh, M.2 enclosure is actually working for you. Okay, so now that the format's completed, we are good to go. You can see it has 926 gigabytes of storage there and now we can actually use it. So we're going to go and move some files over. So YouTube files are pretty big, especially 4K videos. So I'm actually gonna transfer this right here, which I have for a speed test. I'm gonna show you the properties of it. So we have 18 gigabytes of data here. So we're gonna see how fast this can actually move over to our M.2 SSD Gen 3.2. And we'll see how fast it can actually transfer over right here. This should be kind of fun. Um, so I'm just gonna open this guy up and we're gonna transfer it over. Let's see how good this does it. Let's see that speed there. So it's ramping up in speed right there. It says it should take about two minutes. So we're already at a pretty high speed. So look at that guys. At almost a thousand megabytes per second there. So this is extremely fast. It's doing its job, not getting hot and it's done. So it just moved 18 gigabytes of data over and I feel like less than a minute. And it's not hot to the touch or anything like that. And it's good to go. As easy as that guys, you can see that this device is very easy to set up. Your probably grandkid could do it. Your son can do it. This is something very cool to use. Um, I'll do a follow up video actually how to turn this into like a steam external hard drive. So you can move files over that way. Again, you don't really need a Gen 4 M.2. Um, you can get an older one. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at which ones will be compatible with this one with its speed. So here's one drive that you can see right here. This is actually a Gen 3 uh, that's capable of 3,500 megabytes per second. So even with a Gen 3, not even a newer one, it still has very good speed and it's affordable. So you might be able to get a used one off of eBay. Just keep in mind, you don't really need anything over 2,500. So even with a Gen 3, that's pretty fast. Um, like our Gen 4s here, there's even Gen 5s. I think that's like 9,000. Um, but here's a pretty cheap one right here. And we're looking at 4,150 megabits per second. Um, so, you know, just go ahead and go through and see which one's best for you. Again, here's a previous version and we're still looking at that high speed. So we're not gonna be using that whole speed there. So you might be able to get a really old M.2 SSD, um, maybe even SATA, cause these are still NVMe. So like a SATA one might be a cheaper one for you. And just keep in mind, you're looking at that speed right there. Okay guys, so hopefully you got some uh, help from this video and if you did, please like and subscribe and if you have any questions or concerns, leave comments down below. But I'm going to do a follow-up video on how to show you how to use this with a Steam um, account and how you can turn it into an external, um, pretty much game drive. Stay tuned guys and I'll see you in the next video. Ghost57 out. See you next time.